What's going on YouTube? Quinn here and today I'm going to be going over how to reverse your standard car. If you got this far and you already watched the first video, then congratulations. You must be already pretty dang good with taking off and that's a really good accomplishment because that's the hardest part. And if you just stumbled across this video and you're learning how to drive standard, go look at part one down in the description below. That's going to be how to do the takeoff and a lot of info on how to do it and it will help. It is the most important part so go over that first. I'm in the middle of making a video which is about upshifting and downshifting and rev matching but I forgot that I didn't talk about reverse in the first video so um, yeah I'm gonna talk about it here today so let's get started so first of all you gotta find reverse in your car in my car it is you put the clutch in go over to the right and go back some cars it's up into the left some cars like in Volkswagen's and you gotta push the shifter downwards and then go over to reverse that's up obviously I don't have reverse so that's just gear one that I just went into there but just look at your gear shifter and you can tell and if not well you just got to figure out where it's at yes I know I still got some paint on here that I painted and it chipped off of course at least this stuff all stayed though so you may be thinking yes Yes, well, reverse is the exact same as taking off in gear one. Well, it pretty much is. But the problem is, is that reverse can be a little bit different, as in the gear ratio can be a little different than gear one, so it can feel different. So you got to get used to that, right? But other than that, it's the exact same as taking off in gear one, just the gear, again, feels a little bit different. So let me show you guys what it's like backing up. So I'm not even going to put the camera down by my feet because I already showed you guys that in the first video. So car's in reverse already. I'm going to let go of the brake and I'm going to let go of the clutch, find the catching point, start, I got the catching point there, start applying a little bit of throttle and now my foot is fully off the gas and I'm moving backwards, right? Pretty easy. Just the same thing as taking off in gear one, but again, the gear feels a little bit different. But here's where the problems start with reverse and here's why I'm making this video. When you're taking off in reverse, as you could see, I was going pretty fast there. I mean, not fast, but what, the speed that I was just traveling there with my foot right off the clutch was too fast to back into a parking space. Now, I could press the brake to slow myself down, but the problem is, then the engine bogs down too slow and I start rumbling. Even I was even rumbling a little bit right there. But yeah, you're bogging down too slow. So if you start, okay, well, I'm going too fast. I'm going to press the brake. Your car is going to stall or it's going to be right at that stalling point. So you might be thinking then, this is why I made the video. How do I back into a place, right? Because as I mentioned in the first video and as we're taught, you should always have your foot all the way on the clutch or all the way off. And the only reason it should ever be in between is when you're taking off. Because whenever your foot's not all the way down or not all the way up and you're hanging out in the middle, you're causing extra wear on your clutch. But here's the thing. The same as when you take off, sometimes you need to ride the clutch a little bit to, you know, take off. And in reverse, you actually need to do it even more. So, again... If you let go of the clutch all the way, you're going too fast. If you press the brake, you're going to you're gonna stall, right? So how do you fix that? Well, we're going to ride the clutch a little bit. So here's how it's done. I'm going to put the camera on my feet to show you guys. So imagine I'm backing in to a very, very, very tight space. So again, I can't let go of the clutch all the way because I'm going to be going too fast. And if I press the brake with my foot all the way off the clutch, I'm going to stall. So I need to ride the clutch a little bit. So here's how I'm going to do it. So imagine I'm parking into a really tight space and I'm going to just let go of the clutch halfway. So right now I'm hitting my catching point and I'm moving very, very slow. And I'm backing into the spot, backing into the spot, turning as needed. And I'm moving very slow. There, my foot was just about halfway off the clutch at my catching point. So yeah, as you can see, that's pretty easy. But I thought I'd show you guys because when you, you know, get taught to drive standard you're never taught that you know you, you can ride the clutch a little bit in reverse you're terrified that it's actually going to burn your clutch away if you know anything about clutches but it's okay it's just a tiny bit aware if you're not applying a lot of throttle while doing it but here's another trick you can do to minimize the wear on your clutch even more so what you're going to do is you're going to take your foot off the clutch and you're going to hit the catching point just like normal right and as you get that momentum going and your car starts rolling backwards you're actually going to press your clutch all the way in again so you're in neutral and you're going to use that momentum that you got going backwards and just roll into the spot and continue doing that as needed that way you're not just sitting there with your foot halfway off the clutch continuously and it's just a little bit less wear so i'll show you what i mean so yeah i hope i didn't make that too complicated there because it's very easy now if you already know how to drive standard you're probably thinking why is this guy even making this 
video. It's pretty straightforward. But a lot of thing, a lot of times, you know, when you're learning how to drive standard, that's something that you're not told is, uh, you know, how to back up into a spot, and you don't realize you do need to ride your clutch a little bit. So, long story short, what we learned today is that backing up in a standard car is pretty much just riding your clutch a little bit and switching on and off between, you know, your catching point and then neutral, then your brake, then your catching point, neutral, brake. It's very, very simple. It just takes a little bit of getting used to, you know, hitting your catching point and then pressing your clutch back in again, slowing down, making sure you're not hitting the car beside you. And that's all it really is. So next time you're backing into a parking space, you know, don't freak out. Don't let go of your clutch all the way. Ride your clutch a little bit, you know, and just, you know, slowly go into your spot. And that's pretty much it. Sorry, low battery warning there. I just had to turn that off. So yes, that's all I got for this video today. So if you like this video and it's helping you, please subscribe. My next video is going to be on upshifting and downshifting. And hopefully I'll get that out very, very soon. And I'm already almost done it. So, And I'm also going to have a uh, dash cam video once I get some more clips. I always have my dash cam on here when I'm driving. So we'll get some cool dash cam stuff. So I got a runny nose here. But yeah, we'll have some cool dash cam videos coming on this camera soon. Hopefully... And uh, also, um, my bug deflector cracked in half on my car, so I'm going to be repairing that a quick, dirty way. So uh, if you have a bug deflector broken and you don't want to buy a new one, I'm going to try to figure out a way to fix it. And I'll upload a video on that as well. Thank you very much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye for now. Ah, crap. So, <laughs> bless me. When you're driving standard, you need to... So... Reversing in a standard car is a little different than reversing in a standard car. Wait a minute. <laughs> so very simple, backing up's gonna look like this. So I got my foot in the clutch, and I'm just gonna start letting go, and well, I guess I should put it in reverse first.